in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed the name of the Lord I want you to bless him Lord you are my everything bless him everywhere inside and around please make sure you lift up your voice and just bless him Blessed be the name of the Lord. We bless your holy name. Rakapaka prateketa bala da boko sofranda pratika paka shata bala da ba si prendo kapriada bala da boats unto you shall the gathering of your people be si mena kosha prianda bala da breska pariada bala da ba zembo koso prato shapala da bash. Go ahead and bless him in tongues, bless him in the spirit. Mam proske prandisha lekete frada baladabash. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifies, builds up, empowers. Prepare your hearts to receive. Sige balaka proske mbredisha balaka tiana bakasa bregade baladabash. Jeka ba 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 ba, mambros ke pros ka balika preski balada ba ka brigade balada da. Ziba da 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 balada da 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 ba ka sa brigade balada da. Shabala da 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 ba ka da balada da. Make sure you are praying everywhere. Le pa ka pa ra da ba la ta ba sa ta pa da ba la ba sa. She pa da ba la da ba da ba la da ba. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all.
let it fall tonight, oh God. Let it cover all the earth. Sing, let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Just the voices, let the weight of your glory fall. Let the weight of your glory fall. This is a cry from a generation that is desperate for revival. Let it cover all the Let it cover the north. Let it cover the south. Sing, let the weight of your glory fall. Lord, we want to see revival break out in cities and nations. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all As a desperate one, let it cover all the let it cover all, let it cover every family, every sister. Sing it one more time, let the weight of your glory fall. ago as a desperate communication of the spirit it was a desire to see the fire of God it was a desire to see authentic apostolic revival break out in cities it's a very very prophetic song these are deep songs these are the kinds of songs the Bible calls the songs of Moses songs that stem out of a bowel of hunger they are not songs to make money. They are not just songs that you communicate to while away time. It's a song that you sing when you truly have passion for the things of God. Can we sing this song one more time with revelation? Let the weight of your glory fall. Let the weight of your glory fall. In Mount Zion, the side of the north. Let it go. Beginning from us, O oh God. Desperate communication of our desire for true revival. Yahweh, Yahweh, That's all. Just a very simple song. Christ say, Yahweh. the veil. Yahweh. Let the veil be rent into two and let us see deeper. Yahweh. 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 One 
more time. Shabala na masi pali na 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 na, si bara na 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 mosuti na. Holy is the one who reigns. Holy is the one who reigns. Worthy is the one who sits up fire. Ma bara basi la ma preja la kare. Sheba kabra di la manakata. Come on, just press and let's worship for a while. There is a spirit of worship. Adonai, you're the Lamb of God. You are worthy, worthy of my This is our travail tonight. Let your kingdom break in our heart. Adonai. 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 Sing in the spirit. Sing in the spirit. Sing in tongues. Sheka bakata balada bakana na 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 na. Sheka ya na 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 na. Sheka ya makaba ya na. Sheka ya na 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 na. Sheka ya na 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 na. We sing to you a new song, O God.
praise you mighty God I tell you the portals of heaven are open mightily over this place the hunger of a man can draw the presence of God and when he shows up you are changed as we bask in your glory oh God let us be changed we are the uncompromising remnant that will not bow we will travail until we see the glory of God arise upon this nation and upon the continent of Africa we travail on behalf of Nigeria the firstborn of God in Africa we will not sell our birthright but we will contend to represent authentic apostolic Christianity to the nations We strive to see your kingdom come. This is our desire, Lord. Beyond everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to just pray one prayer and say, Lord, let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let your glory be revealed. Let your kingdom come. And then the eyes of the blind will be opened. When his kingdom comes. Then once again we will hear the authentic sound. Of the shofar of the spirit. It will rise above every noise of religion. And every noise of tradition and falsehood. Hallelujah. Jesus, we seek only one thing, not the building of a ministry, not the fame of men of God. We seek only one thing, that we become envoys of your kingdom, men who are furnished by the fires of the Spirit men of understanding and power men of light we give you praise tonight I pray that the bread of the spirit be broken we contend for the hallowed bread of the spirit show us deep things oh God cause our eyes to be opened Reveal your glory in strange dimensions. Open us up, O oh God. Let the seals be broken. Let the scroll be open. And let our eyes see. Show us what the Father saw. We contend for the ancient part. We refuse to be deceived. Let the light of God take us to the holy hill of the one who called us. And may we become mighty men. May we become mighty men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please greet one another and be seated. God bless you. You're welcome. God bless you. It was a great time of worship. Please be seated.
Hallelujah. There is an end to this pursuit. We are not chasing after shadows. We are not um, we are not just trying to do the things that we are doing because we are alive and we have to continue the traditions of religion. I need you to know that God is so grateful when he finds a people who are interested in him not just what he can give not the prosperity not marriage men who are addicted to the values of the kingdom who love him above and beyond what this life can give hallelujah We are the hope of this world. You must believe this. Don't ever think you are little. For in the days to come, even the, the smallest spark of light will be of benefit to men. Gross darkness will come upon this earth. It's already happening. But the Bible says upon you, it says you will arise and you will shine. Not only will you shine the light, you will become the light. Hallelujah. The secret of spiritual growth is progressive revelation. There is nothing else that can make a man grow. The Bible says that when God made man in the Garden of Eden, the life that they had was supposed to be sustained by the continuous eating of the trees of the Garden. They were not eating it for hunger. They were eating it because it had the capacity. It was called the tree of life. It had the, the capacity to give life. And that tree is the accurate revelation of the word of God. So as we receive the word of God, there is an unveiling of the reality of this life this zoe life that we talk about hallelujah praise the lord i'm excited because many of you may not realize that every great revival started with a movement that was concealed people did not know that this was how far god would go until the fire became so much that no devil could stop and he began to move from city to city hallelujah there's an army rising up there's an army There's an army rising up to break every chain, 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 break every chain. Can you just sing that part? There's an army rising up. There's an army. We are this mighty army. There's an army rising up. There's an army that is rising up. There's an army We're rising up. To break every chain. To break every chain. Hallelujah. The prophet began to speak. Malachi the prophet started speaking and he said, There will be a sign that will characterize the coming of Jesus. He says, Shortly before the day of the Lord, Elijah will come again. Hallelujah. Did you know 
that the Bible never tells us anything about Elijah's birth, origin. It just tells us this, this wicked system, this she goddess called Jezebel, who was married to the king. Jezebel was a witch. She was not a wife. That's why she reappears in Revelation again. In the book of Revelation, Jezebel reemerges again. Hallelujah. The personality Jezebel was an adumbration of a system. Hallelujah. And the Bible says during her time, the prophets of God suffered so much. The prophets of Baal were reigning and they locked up and killed the prophets of God. Suddenly, a strange man without origin just emerge the bible says and elijah the tishbite from where he came we don't know we don't know who where he was taught the things that he knew the bible says he was a representative of a spirit elijah represented the sword of god and the bible says when he showed up he showed up for one assignment to conquer that she goddess and afterwards he left who is this strange man because we see him reimagine again Jezebel is still in revelation. Elijah is still in revelation. Where did he come from? Did he just appear and Elijah the Tishbite? Where was he trained? Who taught him that the eye of witchcraft could not find? And Elijah the Tishbite rose up as a cry. The prophets of God were suffering only about 400 of them were being kept in disguise by a man called Obediah. No prophet could lift up his head and prophesy the counsel of God. And the Bible says in response to their cry, one great prophet, Elijah the Tishbite. A single man who terrorized the system of Jezebel and brought her to her knees. And the Bible says, before the day of the Lord, Elijah will come back again. But he will not come back as a person. He will come back as an apostolic generation. Are you getting my point? And it's in the similitude of what was adumbrated in the Old Testament. Nobody understood. Nobody knew about the training. He was, he was a strange manifestation. The Bible says Elijah the Tishbite and this is the making of Elijah's the spirit the authentic spirit of prophecy that will arise this is how his kingdom will come hallelujah and Elijah the Tishbite suddenly showed up and he began to cause havoc to this godless system I need you to know that you are a representative of this spirit of Elijah this authentic apostolic and prophetic spirit and the first assignment of Elijah is to destroy the altars are you getting my point the first assignment of Elijah is not to call the names and phone numbers of people. The first assignment of Elijah is to come in with a dimension of God that has not been seen that will bring the powers that be to their knees. This is why I raised this song. To break every chain. A reemergence of the Elijah spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight I have I've just been praying for the teachings that we're going to be bringing that not only will we get puffed up with rema and knowledge hallelujah but that these teachings will sustain an ability to cause radical transformation in our lives. We have said this is a season of light. And brothers and sisters, let me tell you, there is a level of light that you carry. You become a threat to the kingdom of darkness. This is what we are training. We are training you to become a light. A light. You will be so bright, the powers of darkness cannot ignore. Our job is to expose the works of darkness and to bring people to 
accurate spiritual understanding hallelujah thank you jesus first timothy 4 verse 1 let's rush he won't stop till we look just like him he won't stop he won't stop till we look just like him god is birthing something strange in these days god is revealing something new in our midst he won't stop he won't stop until we look just like him he won't stop he won't stop first timothy 4 verse 1 now the spirit expressly says that in the latter times some will depart from the faith giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons stop the bible says in the latter time there are certain people who for some reason will depart from the faith and will begin to give heed to what deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons very interesting it didn't say doctrines that were taught by demons doctrines that were manufactured from the pit of hell and brought taught accurately by demons verse 2 speaking lies in hypocrisy and having their own conscience seared with hot iron verse 3 forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from food which God has created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth the last verse was for for every creature of God is good and nothing is to be refused if it's received with thanksgiving let's just stop there hallelujah we're examining three things tonight tonight we're going to be studying the scripture hallelujah everybody say i receive light when when our eyes are open we will be able to mature and comprehend the things of the spirit deeper let me tell you something listen do you know what scares demons and principalities and powers it's not the statue of a man or woman are you getting my point it's not your english it's not your degree hallelujah but the degree of light the degree of light when you see the spiritual structure of a believer you can know his level in the spirit by the degree of light are you following me now so at the mount of transfiguration jesus revealed to us how his spirit man was are you getting me it was light so bright that the people could not comprehend it and every time we come before his presence by revelation we keep contending to attain unto that dimension of light and the degree to which we conform to that light is the degree to which we rise to maturity and that's a product of revelation the difference between revelation and information is that revelation transforms information just gives you awareness if it is revelation it must change you it was designed to change you if you truly understand it hallelujah praise the lord the bible says in the latter days verse one again please that men will give room to deceiving spirits who are these spirits where did they come from what is their ministry please pay attention brothers and sisters we are in a day an age that if you lack spiritual intelligence you will die are you following me now we need it as a matter of urgency
in every generation there is always a contention of light and darkness there are people who just go around as social beings but there are certain people who understand spiritual things and are anointed to communicate the counsel of God to make sure that the banner of the kingdom is lifted throughout that generation and we happen to be that generation so it's important for everybody to pay attention there's a lot of error going on in the body of Christ listen please hallelujah and the error that is going on in the body of Christ is so deep it calls for immediate response hallelujah if we do not respond to the tragedy that is happening in the body of Christ and we allow this Jezebel to strangle away the prophets of God if Elijah's do not arise a time will come there will be no prophets who will speak the counsel of God are you following me now there's a lot going on in the body of Christ the continent of Africa and especially our dear country Nigeria Nigeria is the firstborn of Africa. We are the model to the, the continent of Africa in terms of spirituality. Hallelujah. And it's important that we preserve the things of the spirit. There are three errors in the body of Christ that we trust God to address and correct tonight hallelujah it's called apostasy you know what apostasy is apostasy is a departure from the accurate truth of God's word a departure I preached a message I think it was last year or year before last the apostate church you can get it and listen a departure from not listen listen please I, I don't mean the departure from a doctrine I mean a departure from the known patterns of God everything about the building of God's kingdom is not left for the discretion of man are you following me now there is a pattern God in his nature will not allow man to build his kingdom his own way it has always been the character of God to create a pattern for man to access him so apostasy is when by the activity of wicked spirits men begin to deviate from the accurate pattern of God and the Bible says this will happen in the latter times that some will depart from the faith what faith Christianity no 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 God never called us Christians what is the faith the pattern there is a pattern that our fathers followed they knew something that made them walk with God they knew something that made the, the kingdom of darkness quake before them and there is a gradual deviation please listen to me the church in Nigeria is deviating fast And there's got to be an, an intervention of Elijah. Because the few prophets of God who are left in the country are facing a lot. Jezebel is, is prospering on our pulpits, in our churches, across different places. And the prophets of God, the true prophetic and apostolic voices are being quieted until elijah rises and that there be an open contention between light and darkness to return the body of christ back to pattern otherwise we are going to lose it and we'll miss it not just as a continent not just as a nation but as a people hallelujah say amen thank you jesus matthew 13 verse 25 Matthew 13, Jesus began to explain to us the tragedy that will befall the church. Matthew 
13. Shipa kata balada bakurati shabalana. Let's start from verse 23. Or 24. Let's, let's make it 24. And another parable he put forth to them saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed. That man, listen, that man is God and his purposes and counsel. So how did it start? It started with good seed. Is that true? He sowed good seed. He created a pattern. But something happened. 25. The first four words. One, two, go. But while men. This is how the spirit of the Antichrist began to enter the church. It began to cause men to sleep. The Bible says that a time came when the eyes of Eli started getting dim. And remember the Bible says the eye is the light of the body. That means if your eye is closed, there is no more light. No more illumination. There is no more access to divine things. And the Bible says that the eye of Eli started getting very dim. And that continued until it got to a point where men slept. Hallelujah. While men slept, when they began to intercourse with Babylon, when they began to respond to the promptings of this antichrist system, when they began to do ministry by doctrines and patterns and methods that are not consistent with the way of God, the Bible says they started giving heed to deceiving spirits. Are you following me, please? And they started embracing the doctrines of demons. And men slept. And then the enemy came and did what? So tears. This is what is happening to the Nigerian church. There is a mixing of that which is authentic with that which is counterfeit. And all of them are being mixed in our churches, in our parishes, in our assemblies. And right now there is so much confusion. It will take the accurate eye of the eagle that is brought forth by the spirit of Elijah to divide between bones and marrow and show the church that no matter how this looks this is not of God hallelujah because the bible tells us something verse 26 it says but when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop then the tears also did what that means when they sowed it, it was there as a tendency, but it had not yet manifested. Are you getting my point now? A lot of people started ministry, hearing the voice of God, but they did not stay in the spirit for the Holy Ghost to keep walking, walking on them and pruning out anything that does not become like Christ. Eventually, as the ministry started expanding, as the membership started expanding, they noticed a strange thing happening in the assemblies that there were also tears that were growing. Verse 27. It says, So the servants of the owner came and said, Sir, did you not sow good seed? In other words, who gave these pastors this message? Where did this rema come from? Where did this doctrine, these revelations that we have built ministries, we have held conventions and meetings with teachings that have no bearing with the patterns of the kingdom? The Bible says they ask a question. Did you not sow good seed? What happened on the way? How then does it have tears? 28. This is what made a lot of men of God think that what they are doing is right. Because in the wisdom of God and for the sake of we the elect of God, he said no. The, see, he said the enemy has done this. And the servant said to him, do you want us to go and gather them? That means should we start pruning? He said, ah, in the midst of these tears, there are genuine people. They are not strong enough to stand the heat of separation. So let them grow. Verse 28, 29 now. It says, but he said, no, lest while you gather up the tears, you will also hurt the wheat. Are you getting my point now? And so God allowed many churches and many ministries to grow. In spite of their wrong doctrines, money was still coming. 
are you getting my point membership was still coming and because of that a lot of people thought it was an endorsement that they were doing the right things but right now the spirit of elijah is suddenly showing up because the 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 wheat has become matured enough for the separation to begin to take place and the bible says 30 now let both grow together so no problem let the church grow even with the error no problem i will have a way by my wisdom to manage it but a day will come the separation will happen are you getting my point now there are so many people that have stood upon our pulpits and said a lot of things that have god has no hand in it at all there are many conventions in this country that god has no business with what is going on are you getting me they have organized god out of church programs they have gone for ministers conferences and imbibed doctrines of demons by men and women who have no altar at all hallelujah and the bible says let them both grow so they came back applied these things and it seemed to be producing results but right now it has gotten to a point where it's destroying the remnant of the house of God and except the spirit of Elijah arises and addresses it the casualty will be too much it says until the harvest and at the time of the harvest I will say unto the reapers this is a strategy first gather together what this is why we are beginning to attack these things because the season of the harvest is here the bible says you guys are farmers speaking to the nation of israel he said there is a way you can look at the atmosphere and you will know that the harvest is near and bind them in bundles to burn them but gather the wheat into my barn so it started with good seed the man of god started as a genuinely anointed person the ministry started as an authentic ministry but eventually while men began to sleep the bible says a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of the eyes and it says poverty is not just lack deprivation of all sorts whether spiritual material and otherwise will come upon you suddenly like an arm bandit so these men began to sleep hallelujah and it was in that sleep you see this is listen how many of you have read the story of samson and delilah samson was a type of the church delilah was a wicked spirit are you getting my point now notice that samson was called to be a judge over israel and the bible says savior shall arise everything in the bible is prophetic it's an adumbration of something an adumbration means a foreshadow are you getting me a prophetic preplay of something that would happen samson was a man who was strong and he terrorized the philistines and then the bible notice every time men who symbolize the government of god appeared it was women that threw them down not women they were physical entities but this woman you know why woman because women have the capacity to give birth and reproduce their kind again this is why the bible calls this babylon this harlot in revelation 17 it says she's a woman that sits upon a beast that has seven horns seven heads and ten horns are you learning something tonight a terrible tragedy happening in the body of christ and listen when delilah came to samson she studied his weakness are you getting my point she carefully studied it she did not come with a sword i want to show you the mystery of men sleeping and the bible said she came and she donated her lap free of charge for him correct the first time you see the nature of the glory of god is that the glory of god does not depart suddenly when the glory of God in the vision that was shown Ezekiel, when it was leaving the temple, it left slowly. Paradventure, the people would realize and repent. Hallelujah. The first time it happened, notice 
what is a woman looking for trying to know the source of a man's strength she didn't say marry me she didn't say sleep with me she didn't say give me money are you following me now she kept saying samson tell me the mystery behind your strength all she was concerned about was his anointing because it was with that anointing he would conquer the spirit of the antichrist are you getting me she wanted to kill the source of his strength and she found out that there was a relationship between his eyes his hair and his strength that was why when she captured him the first thing that happened was his hair the second thing that happened was his eyes I need you to know that all these women you see in the Bible they were not normal they were envoys of demonic entities because they did certain things that did not make sense for instance why will Herodias ask her daughter for dancing well she said make sure you tell the king that I want the head of John the Baptist what do you do with head are you getting my point now there are many things that happen in Bible that if you don't read with the spirit of revelation, this is the error that many people have carried. They have just read it theologically and they have bought for doctrines that are not accurate. But the spirit of Elijah comes dividing the word of God accurately. Hallelujah. All through scripture, we'll do a quick drive if it's possible. As we, as we continue. And let me show you that disguising through people and stories has been the same battle. The battle of light and darkness. Are you getting my point now? For instance, the Bible tells us that before the coming of the Lord again, there will be a repetition of the days of Noah. Did you read that in your Bible? What happened in the days of Noah? Because you see, when Satan fell, when Satan fell, there are so many things in my head now. Let, let's just continue wherever we stop. Do you know what Satan told the angels that made them to comply? Don't you think Satan would have told them something that was really captivating for them to leave their estate and to come down to partner with him? Are you getting my point now? Because of Satan's access to the presence of God, he had knowledge of mysteries. And the Bible tells us that this man called Satan, or then the son of the morning, rebelled. He had a, he had a political ambition. All this ambition didn't start from the politicians. There is a spirit. And he, he made this manifesto clear in Isaiah 8, in, 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 in um, uh, what now? Isaiah 14 now. I will do this. I want to arise above the stars of God. I want to be like the most high. That was his manifesto. But he deceived all of these people. And when he was casted down, he was casted together with a lot of other angels. Hallelujah. And then when Adam came, I told you again that the garden of Eden is not in the earth realm. Are you getting me that's why they cannot find it the garden of eden is still intact you go to the book of revelation you see the garden of eden still there with the tree of life nobody has taken anything that garden was withdrawn are you getting me it was a supernatural sphere the reason is look at the things that covered the garden a cherub and a flaming sword can a cherub and a flaming sword just cover something that is just three-dimensional hallelujah and man was driven out of that garden but there was a prophecy and this it was that prophecy that started this great battle are you getting me the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent and satan knows that every time jesus speaks he already has a strategy are you getting me please follow this when one of the errors that i want to correct i hope we'll be able to establish it is how many of you have heard of that thing called familiar spirits have you heard that statement i will show you 
the origin of the activity of what we call familiar spirit familiar spirits are not just out to monitor your life they are out to monitor the strategy of the spirit for every season help us lord help us lord help us lord where do we start from okay are you getting my story now and then when adam and eve when adam knew his wife and she gave birth to cain listen please satan thought that cain was going to be the person that god will use because they, he knew that god would need a man are you getting me so satan entered cain are you getting my point now see i'm talking of the activity please let's go to first timothy 4 verse 1 again the, i want to show you the ministry of these deceiving spirits can you see where it started from lucifer deceived the angels are you getting my point now and they came down when man fell deceived eve satan always changes the patterns of god because every time god when god designed family please listen and 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 ladies you have to listen this is a very powerful message when god designed family i hope you know that god made man the head of that family is that true that means any correspondence through god according to his structure should go to the man notice how satan changed it satan went to the woman are you getting me and everywhere you see the manifestation of his spirit the woman there that figure tries to usurp it on the man jezebel are you seeing now herodias and all of these kinds of people this is what the bible calls the devices of the enemy stratomai the greek word his methodology it may have changed and metamorphosed through seasons but the pattern is the same that means when you sustain the eye of prophecy you can detect him at once are you learning something please so cain is born and satan makes a bargain with cain and cain begins to manifest another spirit and then the bible says how that abel shows up and satan suspecting that god may use abel began to move cain to kill abel are you seeing why cain why will cain kill his brother see it's time for you to begin to study the word not just to get sermons but for spiritual knowledge ask questions why will cain just kill the, his brother what for are you getting my point now when cain killed his brother in a passage of time the bible says cain started building a city the bible never told us that cain was an architect what made him to start lusting after building a city it was the spirit of the antichrist are you seeing because god wanted to build a city and name it after his son so the spirit of the antichrist through cain built a city and named it after enoch his son and that was where atrocity started from are you getting my point now and then it got to the time of noah god suffered long with them when it got to the time of noah listen to me listen to me noah was a very strange man he was not just an old bald headed man noah walked with god are you getting me noah had a manuscript that he used to build the ark the ark was not just built carelessly of gopher wood and so on and so forth it was a prophetic message are you getting my point now noah had secrets that he knew that made him the head of the spiritual activity of that generation he talked with god he communicated with god he understood the mystery of the flood and that was the reason why listen please listen listen when they came out shem ham and japheth there were eight people again satan started looking for somebody else to enter are you getting my point so satan entered ham are you getting my point point? and the bible says he saw his father's nakedness he did not just see his father's nakedness it's a coded word he saw into the secret of what noah was supposed to preserve why will a man curse his son for just seeing his nakedness and say you will be a servant of servants is that cost not too much just for seeing a man's nakedness what of children that take care of their parents in the hospital 
and have to bath them and do other things it was beyond just seeing a physical nakedness it was opening something spiritual that he was not prepared for he was it was every time men shifted from god's patterns they suffered this was why he caused Cain. i mean harm and the cause that was given to harm if you read your bible very well was that he was going to serve his brothers is that true now satan found expression through harm go to genesis 11 don't you, i mean you don't need to open it but go to genesis 11 what happened suddenly another wizard who was the son of kush who was from the lineage of ham are you seeing now a man called nimrod nimrod strange man just appeared from nowhere a man who commanded such power he was a lord are you getting my point now how did nimrod gain so much influence and the bible says nimrod was a hunter we never saw one animal that nimrod hunted what was he hunting i will show you in the book of revelation that he was hunting for souls because satan suddenly realized that destroying men is not the way so he says let's adopt them and use them rather than killing them are you are you getting my mystery tonight Bible says it has been given unto us to know the mysteries of the kingdom there are things you understand that the devil will run away from you because he knows that light has brought everything that is darkness to bear are you getting my point now the problem with we preachers is that we just cut a lot of stories and tell people things that when they join the puzzles together it doesn't make sense listen listen i think i was talking to um, the, the, the music director and, and the worship team chairman they came over to my place and I told them that I've been criticized for a lot of things one of it is this faith thing I believe in faith but I've said this thing again and again years ago that faith doesn't have to be on something you don't understand are you getting my point the true concept of faith it's not just built on shadows that cannot be understood i said it last week no pilot sits on a plane and says passengers i trust god that will arrive safely i've never learned how to fly this plane but you guys just sit back sit back and 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 and, and, and enjoy there's jehovah jireh there's jehovah sikenu there's our banner and all of that and then the people sit down and say hallelujah let's just be confessing we will arrive we will arrive plane corporate we are now at 3,000 feet. Nobody does that. Are you getting my point now? So, faith is not a mystery. It has been turned to look like anything in the kingdom you just understand. Just You don't understand. Just accept by faith. Have you had teachings like that? God said it. I may not understand it. I don't care. I, want, I don't want to understand it. All I know is that Satan is the bad guy. Jesus is the bad guy. We are for Jesus. Let's win him. This is what Americans are, are shipping into Nigeria. And we are laughing and receiving it and holding massive conventions and misleading people. Whereas the Bible says, do not be unaware of the stratomai. Satan is not an idiot. He has a, a strategy. This guy stayed close to the presence of God. Are you learning something tonight? So you see it, Nimrod Kush. He said, go to let us build a city build a city again the same city that Cain tried to build and then the judgment of Noah cancelled everything now he says let us build a city and let us make a name for ourselves listen when you study Bible history please listen I want to show you the origin of occultism and witchcraft are you following me now don't say it does not concern you the word is making you mature believers are you getting my point now do you know the origin of this thing we call occultism and witchcraft nimrod kush according to bible history are you, was the son of kush who married a woman called samiramai are you getting me and because listen please this is very very important samiramai was a witch these were people that were possessed they were incarnates of hell are you getting my point 
envoys that wanted to continue the agenda of God. Samira might killed Cush, her husband. Are you getting me? And Satan came and interpolated this thing. Satan came and made Nimrod to believe that in this new move and in this kingdom, he was going to make him Lord. He was going to be great. And the price for that is that he will aberrate the normal progression of, of human beings. And then Nimrod married his mother. Are you getting my point now? So Nimrod married. Are you seeing how Satan was twatting the, the, do I call it the genetic code of human beings? Nimrod married his mother. Can you imagine? Now the son, I don't know what, what they are going to call the son now. Huh? His mother is still his grandmother. As ugly as it is, listen. This was the mystery of what began to happen to Nimrod. Nimrod was a hunter of souls. His job was to exert so much influence that he would bring people to himself. Because in Revelation, when he began to tell us about this mystery Babylon and all the commodities she does business with, it called the souls of men. Is that true? Is that true? There's no time, you see this time thing i wish like i feel like busy in this watch praise god <laughs> you just sing praise and worship and it's 10 o'clock <laughs> praise god kai this time is limited bear with us honestly these are not the kinds of things that you don't just come and share a message and it's boiling in my spirit because i want us to get it praise the lord are you understanding my story all through scripture when you trace you will see that this spirit looks for women in every generation that will represent its operation and look for men that will compromise are you getting me that was where witchcraft and so on and so forth started and then all these things called divination and necromancers all of these things happened when saul was king there's no time but I hope you read your Bible very well. You remember that? Remember when Saul was king? Saul dealt with diviners and necromancers. Is that true? He frustrated them so much. According to scripture, there was only one woman that was left. One sorcerer. One necromancer. And the Bible says a time came when Saul slept and he deviated. Alright? It didn't use that exact word. But I'm just using it. When Saul deviated from the things of God, he went to go and consult her. Is it in your Bible? And when she met him, he, he, he concealed himself. And she said, ah, don't disturb me. Saul, is, Saul has made life bad for us. No business in this city again. And he said, no problem. I vow I will not tell Saul. And he said, whose spirit should I invoke? I'm going to show you how men of God operate what you call the prophetic. That they invoke the spirit of the dead. Correct? It's happening in many churches somebody dies and they invoke the spirit of that dead person i want to show you how they use necromancy and when they do that they invoke that and the bible says she invoked in her vision she was seeing an old man coming and saul and saul told her i said who do you, do you see him tell me about his appearance and saul from and samuel now seemingly from the vision told her the man that is standing with you is saul and she turned she said ah ah are you not Saul? He said, ah, sorry, it's true. I'm Saul. But call me the spirit of Samuel. You think that was Samuel? He looked like Samuel. Talked like Samuel. Where did these spirits come from? I want to show you. See, it didn't start with Africa. So don't let westernization tell you these things are unnecessary. They have been there in scripture. And if we don't gain knowledge of this truth, we will die like men. men. hallelujah help us lord diviners and different people let me tell you something that happened see most of these entities that you call how many of you have heard of demons being disembodied spirits have you heard that word disembodied spirits what does that mean that means that there are spirits 
that do not have a body to find expression is that true that means they are consistently under frustration jesus himself taught us that when that spirit leaves a man it becomes restless because they need material medium to communicate there is a law in the earth realm that if you do not have a body you cannot function here are you getting my point let me tell you how this demon started i hope we have time can i talk to you see the bible says listen demons are not the uh, they are not the only wicked entities in the satanic kingdom demons are just a class of wicked spirits there are others for instance principalities they are not demons are you getting me i have come to the end of myself take over jehovah i have touched the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself listen I hope you believe what I'm telling you. Listen. How many of you have seen certain people, maybe those who do a lot of occultic things, when they leave their body, they make sure they close the room so that nobody comes to push their body. You know why? Because they must return the same way they left. If you shift their body, they are not dead, but the spirits cannot return to the body again. Are you understanding what I'm saying? There are many spiritual entities like that in the spirit realm. Please listen to me. I want to tell you some things that will bless you. We said this is a year of light. This is solid meat. Light that keeps you in command. Dominion will happen naturally. You don't claim it. Light brings you into it. Are you getting my point? We are, we are demystifying this deity called Satan once and for all so that you will know that the church will truly be a victorious church. Listen, Satan led these demon spirits. Are you getting, I mean, angels now. Are you getting my point? Now, this was what, because it is within the character of angels to translate themselves. Is that true? That means they can change state there are different kinds of angels maybe when we deal with angels we talk there is a northern army there are different there are messenger angels there are cherubs there are seraphs there are different kinds of angels now satan led a campaign and told these guys together with I've, I've, i said it the last time apollyon leviathan have you heard of all these spirits they were real spirits together satan didn't just do alone it was supposed to be that he would spearhead the rebellion and if it worked it would be chop by chop so all the demons that helped him are you getting my point now <laughs> when you read the book of psalms and see the things that the psalmist began to speak you will see that the spirit of revelation was upon him hallelujah are you getting blessed can we continue all right Please make sure you are listening. This is not... Let me tell you something with revelation. If you get too used to it, the devil can use it and kill you. Are you getting my point? He won't kill you just by oppressing you. He will make you so puffed up. Revelation that should deliver you is not delivering you. But anybody who wants to talk to you, you will begin to break these scriptures. And say, let me give you a rundown of how everything started. And then it's not... Help. This is what is happening. So we must open up ourselves and please listen i'm serious and contend for change this is not to equip you to now run to your fellowship or your church and say for the next four months i have a message and this is what people do and then start running and say ah i must do this i must do this there are angels there's apollyon have you heard of him and they say wow from whence come at this kind we have not seen it in this fashion the goal of revelation is not entertainment brothers and sisters is to equip you with light that dispels every darkness hallelujah now listen these angels 
translated themselves are you getting my point in the days of noah and they started having intercourse with women physical women that means you know that the child they will give birth to will not be pure human that's the origin of giants are you seeing that that's why the children that they had six fingers six to superhuman abilities can i surprise you that breed is still in the earth today this is what scientists saw that they called x-men what is x former what was the revelation behind their producing these films you were just watching and eating popcorn in cinema and nodding whereas this is a mystery they know a war is coming all of these scientific films keep telling you a war is coming and that battle is between mankind and another race this was the whole subject of lord of the rings and they had to consult other kingdoms and bring their kings together and it was a human uh, one little boy called frodo that carried the ring a symbol of authority all the other kingdoms backed him up these things are spiritual messages these scientists through through zodiac and and astrology and all kinds of definition they can peep into spiritual things it's not that they know the future are you getting me how do i put it now help me look at me how many of you know which countries are ahead of nigeria time wise what what is uk how can you say uk us let's let's just assume please listen we, we don't have time let's assume australia how many of you know that when australia is saying 18th we are still in 17th so that ability to peep ahead that's what happens in the realm of the spirit because of the regulation of times and seasons are you getting my point it, this is what is adumbrated in geography that it is possible for one region to begin to access certain things before the other one it happens in the spirit too and this is the principle of divination help us so God. take me to the place the place you are that secret place take us Lord that's where I want to be take me to the place the place you are the secret, place. the secret place that's where i want to be that's where i want to be let's rush error number one i touched it in the realities of heaven and hell but i just feel like touching it again because the message didn't strike the chord the way i want so i want to touch on the issue again messages from hell divine realms that's number one error that needs to be listen to me i don't know how many women have shaved their hair sold their cover shoes and did a lot of things because listen this is a very serious message right now certain people claim they went to heaven or went to hell listen i explain all these planes to you and you will see sense in what i'm saying now and they brought the core message in the body of christ now is not the bible again is who came with what from where are you getting my point these are the deceiving spirits and the doctrines of demons remember the bible says if god did not cut the time even with the elect can be deceived what kind of great deception can make people to see a lie and take it as true are you getting my point it must be a great deception so what is it the bible says or the people the story somebody just comes back oh i went to hell and then you print cds you print books now there are a few people who will trust their experiences very few as a matter of fact they were the initial people people like like um what's her name mary baxter and so on and so forth all these many things that they do now those people when they came back they even gave the cds free because of how much they wanted to be dissociated with this world 
huh but right now what we have is nonsense and there are many church pastors in an attempt to show piety and response to spiritual things this is the result of sleep they invite all these people these, these people and they come back uh, they come to pulpit and cry ah i went to hell i saw your mother i thought your mother died she gave me a message it's her name not jane you say yes my mother's name is jane i saw jane i saw jane she was crying in hell and she could talk crying have you have you seen a house catching fire have you seen the people inside listen please this is not criticism please i'm just addressing something this is the spirit of elijah are you get what i'm saying a lot of people came with revelations those of you inside outside if you are hearing me shout praise the lord listen these revelations are destroying churches right now destroying families are you getting my point people came ah you went to hell why did you go to hell your skirts didn't reach here why did you go to hell okay um this pastor you were supposed to drop five naira what where is the five naira that's where you are going somebody went to hell seemingly and brought back the list of the names of almost every man of god alive right now that they are sure candidates of hell this is somebody that got born again it was not up to three weeks and he seemingly went to hell i will show you the mystery of what is happening i wish we have time tonight i would have shown you something powerful It's the strategy of the devil the people are innocent are you getting my point don't be angry at the people they do not even know that they themselves are under deception Paul says, I was caught up to the third heaven. That means there are other heavens. There is the astral realm. There are a lot of other realms. There are galaxies. All of these galaxies and planets. I hope you know some of them have inhabitants. This is the mystery of aliens. This is the mystery of aliens. There is a lot of story we don't know in the earth. They just gave birth to you in the middle of history is what they taught you from social studies to what again social science history government and then you read political science or whatever it is and you believe you know the world no there is a lot more there is a lot more hallelujah there is a lot more there is a lot in this earth realm that we have there are portals in this realm there are many people you see in the earth realm that are not pure human beings they are moving like you they talk you've eaten with some of them in the restaurant they are not pure breeds these are agents of darkness preparing for the revival that is coming i read an article as far back as 19 i have the documentary as a matter of fact about people who went underground is that true they went underground and they saw a place designed by aliens that can see 20,000 people and there is an altar in the middle when you stand in that altar and talk they will hear you everywhere no mic verified scientifically don't you know there is a world under the earth philippians chapter 2 that every knee is not just talking about hell alone What have they not told us brothers and sisters that is responsible i will show you how this applies so that you will see how your family got into it your innocent father from the village was just moving around nothing missing nothing broken he entered into what he didn't understand look at what a lot of believers are suffering it today and one of the error one of the error that i wanted to talk about is the negligence of spiritual laws many of us have listen listen and i don't say this to criticize there is an exaggeration of what we call the grace message i've said this thing again and again please don't be offended i'm just telling you the truth in love 
there is a jurisdiction to which when the grace message steps out it will be misleading there are people right now that they almost don't read the old testament you open they say what are you doing with the law i have a question what is law what really is law what is the cause of the law that christ redeemed us from is it ten commandments is it other mosaic laws or ten commandments plus them is it spiritual laws a lot of people speak and say ah oh, all of this law is gone there's nothing law nothing again but you believe in the law of sowing and reaping and you teach give and it will be given and a lot of people say even god cannot do anything so which part of the law has been abolished we'll talk about that in another teaching we have a lot of series this is a year of light we trust god to open our eyes not to go and start criticizing people but to be the light a reference the devil is in trouble this year there are things i will explain to you you will never be afraid of death again there are things i will explain to you you will know that even this mystery thing called deliverance you will understand who are these people that follow people quietly to church and come and sit down and later you say in the name of jesus and all of these kinds of things we will explain it when you understand this i'm telling you you will just start laughing you won't even pray let me tell you there are two ways to bind the devil one is prayer the other is revelation when authentic light enters you you grow out of some things at once deliverance is going on right now it's just that many people their concept of deliverance is ah you fall down say, i want to cough i want to no no it's not it, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to do those things light is what drives away darkness permanently you see that's why if if i deliver dosing for instance i lay hands on her and she rolls 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 and stands up listen and there is no light do you know why certain deliverances are so easy it's not because the man is powerful the demons are mocking the man he has no spiritual intelligence they just stroll out and allow him to go and he feels wow at once as soon as the person goes out they use anger or something and enter back together with the seven that they have gathered this is why you find out that there are many churches and men of god struggling with deliverance again because the whole service from morning till night is deliverance there is a balance he sent forth his word and his word he led them and delivered them but my only trouble is what people call word is not what god is calling word because their word is not healing their word is not delivering that means it's not the word look at me ella is a fair lady if i tell you ella is coming to see you expect a fair lady tying something in her head with with a ribbon or what is that thing you see that are you getting me if i suddenly decide to come am i ella if i tell you my name is ella this is how many people's revelation i'm sending the word it will do this right now it's not doing it and the bible says if it is the word some things should happen so if it's not happening it's not the word it may be scripture the word listen the word is not just this are you getting me because until the apostles came there was no manuscript but the people understood the word so what did they call their word what did they call their word of god he said ye are clean through the words that i've spoken to you that word can clean you that's what he's doing now So divine revelations let's just look at one scripture luke 16 let's settle this issue once and for all please can we look at just one scripture we may not be able to touch the honestly there are three issues i thought we'll be able to talk about okay we are there there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple royalty and fine linen and fed sumptuously every day 20 and there was a certain beggar named lazarus listen every time jesus mentioned name it was not a parable necessarily it was a real experience 
You understand? In Jesus' parables, he described men by what they did, not their names. Which was laid at his gate. Are you seeing the contrast now? It says, full of what? Source. Verse 21. And desiring to be fed with the crumbs, so on and so forth. 24. Okay, no, 23. I saw something I'm looking for there. Ah, we've gone far. Can we go to 22? Let's start from there. And it came to pass that who died? That's Lazarus, right? Lazarus died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. That's another issue there. Hallelujah. And the rich man also died and was buried. So, two of them died. They've now left the earth. Let's see the drama that happened. 23. And in hell, so a definite place, hell, is that true? He lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and seeth Abraham afar off. All right? That's Abraham's bosom. And I'll tell you why. And Lazarus, hey, I had a revelation, brothers and sisters, that opened me up. Do you know? that unlike the teachings we have been teaching that Abraham could not give birth because he was impotent is not true Abraham slept with Hagar did she get pregnant what is the impotency about him this was simple logic I said come on ah, is this not the Abraham we are saying it is the deadness of his body and this this guy slept with with uh, Hagar and Hagar was strategically positioned by Satan in that place see when i show you these things and as we explore you will see ah, may god help and redefine our christianity you will see that jacob was not a thief jacob was replacing what happened between isaac and ishmael you see that that thing that looked like <laughs> that's why it's not called god of abraham isaac and esau it's called God of Ab didn't, is God blind? Didn't he see Esau? It's called God of Abraham, Isaac. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. So, it was in Abraham's bosom. Alright, 20. And he cried and said, this is the man now in hell. Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And send Lazarus that he may dip the, thing, dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame. Um, that flame is not just fire like you know. Because I hope you know their physical bodies are in the earth here. So what kind of fire will torture their spirit body? It's not just the kind of your fire here. Spirits can walk through this fire. Are you getting me? This is a strange kind of fire. It's a fire that causes thirst. When it destroys you, it not only are you going through pain, but it makes sure that there is thirst. It can absorb everything and cause you with the feeling of thirst. And it's very frustrating. Look at this guy. He didn't say let him send um, something to quench the fire. He was asking for a drop of water. And Abraham said, son, Remember in your lifetime you received good things. This guy received evil. But now he's comforted and thou art tormented. 26. Now. Divine revelation. Please listen. And beside this there is a gulf between us. So that they cannot pass here and there and there. We'll talk about this another time. Hades. Abraham's bosom. And so on and so forth. 27. Then he said. Listen. I pray thee therefore father. That that would they send him back to the earth. Are you seeing now? Send him back to the earth to my father's house. So let's see. See, let's walk with what the Bible says. Is that true? Do you believe the word of God? You believe it's the final authority, and you believe it's a more sure word of prophecy. So let's examine the word of God. 28. For I have five brethren that he may testify unto them lest they also come into the place of torment so what was his request please come back to the earth with divine revelation abi go to my family and tell them ah i just came back from hell if they hear you 
their hearts will melt and they will change i don't want them to come here 29 what happened abraham said they have moses and the prophets let them hear them in other words it is not god's original strategy to bring people back from the world of the dead to come and bring revelation to the inhabitants of the earth abraham was saying listen this is not a normal route of god's dealings with people to make them grow are you getting what i'm saying abraham said they have moses the law and the prophets they are they are preachers already they should listen to them verse 30 and he said nay father abraham but if one went on to them from the, from the dead he said what they will repent is that true 31 and he said unto them if they hear not moses and the prophets neither will they be persuaded though one rose from the dead listen so these teachings of people going and coming say they went to the dead and they came back with messages and they saw this and that and that the bible tells us the living and the dead have no relationship is it in your bible is it in your bible that there is something that separates the living and the dead it is appointed unto man to die once and after that the judgment i believe in the resurrection are you getting what i'm saying but by divination people's spirits have been invoked and a lot of things have happened can i tell you many of these places these people went to were certain realms in the spirit they had never been there please get what i'm saying some of these beings they encountered were not jesus christ they encountered spirits if you see a spirit in the realm of the spirit you will still need spiritual intelligence to relate with them because satan can appear as an angel of light jesus said it when he sent the 70 when they return he said i've seen satan's next strategy the next strategy is not to be a demon again he has translated himself as an angel of light and he's now going to go to pulpits as angel of light he was revealing to them a strategy he wasn't just telling them that satan has just fallen like that mm -mm. hallelujah satan saw that jesus could give his authority to men and they could legislate on his behalf it gave satan an idea of the next strategy he said why not i translate myself and come as an angel of light wear suit and start gathering these people rather than killing them let me use them so jesus began to tell the disciples i'm praying for you immediately i've seen something that will happen satan has now changed his state to become an angel of light and he's moving around as elders in churches moving around as overseers moving around as different things and recruiting men who are entering deception and delusion without knowing but we are this army that god is granting us light alongside many other remnants across the surface of the earth and we are the ones who will break the hold of darkness in the name of jesus christ hallelujah let me show you one more scripture these are the scriptures that talk about out of body experiences paul now the apostle himself second corinthians chapter 12 please let's rush one error we have to kick out of the body of christ the messages the people bring notice listen the bible says you shall know a tree by what is fruit that's whatever proceeds from that tree is that not true that means like who who said it uh, i think it was mike that said everything god creates he leaves an imprint of himself if god gives you a word and is from him there will be something about his charisma on that word how many people tell me the truth have been comforted by the recent divine revelation teachings how many that you know there are so many people who have gotten into religiosity people locked up their businesses people packed out of school other people went somewhere people just killed a lot of things fashion designers stopped their businesses they are broke now they are suffering because they told them that anything anything at all oh if you see we've won, it came from the the marine power if you understand satan you know that he does not have the power of creation 
he has an ability to mimic and corrupt that which is created are you getting my point now I, I, you can everybody has his personal belief and all of that i'm not but i'm just saying the reasons people are giving there is only one reason why people are in hell rejecting the gift of salvation that jesus brings are you getting my point oh a man of god did this this water was for bishop and he quickly drank it and when he was going out car hit him and he found himself that means all of us are going to hell you see that is killing what the bible calls the assurance of salvation so many people even preachers they don't know again whether they are saved or not hallelujah many people don't know whether they are saved or not and now the only way because that's the next thing i wanted to talk about is the false presentation of the gospel of holiness because there is the authentic gospel of holiness i tell you this one may is probably one of the biggest disasters that has happened to the church what has been taught to be the gospel of holiness is not what jesus taught are you getting my point now because a lot of people believe they are going to go to heaven based on the things that they have kept and avoided or done this and that no sir hallelujah you have no right to take a revelation and begin to yoke it on people based on your perception of truth you see let me tell you something the army that god is raising is an army that must remain as students we must create a posture that shows that we are students such that you are not ashamed to confront the revelations you have held as authentic when you see a higher light we must have that humility there's nothing embarrassing to accept that look i may not have seen it in this light i was blind but now i see the bible talks about a man called apollos he was a learned man in acts 18 the last few verses and the bible says but you knew only the baptism of john is that true and then aquila and priscilla came they called him and they expounded to him more perfectly and he was humble enough to receive and then he now went to the temple and began to debate and argue intelligently There are lots of people in the body of Christ who are under bondage. Terrible bondage. That innocently came, but is a product of the spirit of deception. For instance, there are many people who believe that if I, let me use a lady, come. If I give this lady a hug more, ah, this, this may be a problem. I've done something I've compromised it can cost me my salvation and so because I have to shift to that religious mold listen please I'm not criticizing any any church are you following me now this is an apostolic teaching it's a teaching to the body of Christ salvation is personal your dealings with God is personal and it's time for us to kick the walls that are stopping us from entering the authentic experience of the kingdom because of this right now the guy can sit down he does not yet have the ability to conquer lust but religious mold has made him to know or to feel that okay you must confirm and then people are looking at him and he looks like a sanctimonious brother whereas he's dying with masturbation because that's the only thing he can do and the devil says this is exactly what i want and then he uses it to bring condemnation and the guy gets up and before man he's wonderful and he's struggling and the sister is struggling and they go back and keep doing it there are all kinds of atrocities happening in our churches pastors sleeping with members many things are happening everybody carries a nice cloth and we come and hide under this demon called religion hallelujah that does not mean we'll be lawless this is the balance again because some other people in an attempt to address this just like me they tell people okay fine don't be religious don't do this dress anyhow 
do what you want to do say anything so you can be in the church i can be preaching and a lady can just come and i'll just hold her give her a nice peck and say sweet how you look sweet and you sit down those garbages will be part of what will exit out of the body of christ there is a lot of another dimension of imbalance are you getting my point now we have all kinds of carelessness i believe that these things are not the things that determine salvation but then there, there are some things that just don't make sense a man of god comes hanging all kinds of chains around him with all kinds of rings tearing his jeans sagging them i mean i'm not talking of a guest some a little youth meeting or boot camp this is the, the, the default is the overseer of the ministry he comes with his glasses comes and all that is nonsense it's a spirit of seduction hallelujah a woman comes on stage and she's preaching half of the message the brothers are not following their minds are they are just struggling lord i will make heaven i need to grow this is another balance so let me balance it very quickly because there are a group of immature revivalists arising in their bid to contain these things in the flesh i'm just telling people be as lawless as you can be that's a sign that we're out of the law there is a balance we're a disciplined army we are not idiots liberty is not rebellion hallelujah thank you jesus Second Corinthians 12 from verse 3 to 4. Did I say? From verse 3 to 4. Shibala katabrende kasibaladaba. Verse 3. And I knew such a man, Paul speaking. Listen, please. Whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth. For how that he was caught up into paradise and had what? unspeakable words which are not lawful for men to what is that in your bible that means all these ones that people go have you not seen that many times when the apostles see revelation he tells them seal this is for an appointed time but now people come back with every message this is deception are you getting my point now there are a few people however who we have judged their revelations based on the integrity of God's word. And we have found that their messages have brought healing and hope to the body of Christ. For such kind of people, we commend them and we endorse them. But even at that point, their word does not become the final, the final, uh, what do we call it now? This thing that they, yardstick. I cannot begin to run my ministry after Mary Baxter's vision. Are you getting my point i've had a lot of visions i live in the realm of visions i can never run ministry just based on visions ask the leaders every time i see anything no matter how authentic the experience is the word of god must prove it not confirm it prove it prove it the bible didn't say confirm all things it said prove all things if you are looking for confirmation you will find it you will find a scripture that endorses a man sleeping with a woman although they are not married it's in the bible the bible is a prophetic book you can make it speak any language you want the bible did not say use the bible just to confirm things prove it test the spirit behind it everybody now is looking for confirmation so we get the revelation from all kinds of realms that's the reason why you go to native doctors and the rest you see bibles there because since it's bible you want they keep it there for you when it's time to do the spell they say lay your hands on the bible and swear that you will be faithful and you swear but they'll still do their demonic things and you will be convinced that because there was a bible there it was god because of this deception you don't use the bible for confirmation the bible proves all things yet nothing proves it when i talk of bible i'm not just talking about the error of men i'm talking about the edited spirit word that is given hallelujah
What do I talk about again? I want to show you something. One other error in the body of Christ is neglecting the reality of spiritual laws. I said it. Everybody say it after me, both inside and outside. Spiritual laws abound. They exist. They are real. As real as physical laws. Look at me. Do you know why God did not kill Cain when he sinned? Because he knew that there were spiritual laws at work. Are you getting my point? And those laws will catch up with him. Are you following me now? when you violate certain things and some things happen to you it's not like god brought it there are laws are you getting my point jump from this building now praying in tongues as you are jumping for no reason it's not like they threw you to destroy you that you expect you expect the hand of god just jump from it what do you think will happen to you because of the existence of a law now watch this regardless of that law a plane still moves is that true does the movement of the plane stop the fact that there is that law? It means it's operating by another law that shields it. Are you getting what I'm saying? Curses are real. Yokes are real. Manifestations of witchcraft in lives and families are real. They are very real. Listen, these are spiritual laws. What light does for us is to tap into what Christ has done and exempt ourselves. Are you getting me? Let's look at one scripture and then we'll pray. That does it for today. Just one scripture. I want to show you a scripture. Psalm 64. Let's trace these activities of those we call familiar spirits every time i teach it's always in my culture to try to bring balance there is a lot of junk about deliverance demonology and so on and so forth however i believe that there is an accurate perspective that we can look at to gain understanding hear my voice oh god this was the psalmist praying by revelation preserve my life from the fear of the enemy too Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Verse 3. Hmm. Who wet their tongue like a sword. That means these guys speak certain things. And bend their bows to shoot their arrows. Even bitter words. Verse 4. He said that they may shoot in secret at the perfect suddenly they do shoot at him and fear not verse 5 it says they encourage themselves in an evil matter they come they commune of lyingness privately they say who shall see them six they do what they search out who are these people that search out they go to an extent where did they write it that they go back to archives and search out iniquities of families are you following me now this is in your bible they search out iniquities he said they accomplish a what diligent search they are meticulous when god opened my eyes to this it surprised me are you getting my point now have you read that word blotting out every handwriting so there are handwritings correct there are ordinances the bible says they search out iniquities hallelujah maybe at another time i will continue this teaching of these angels that i told you because when they fell listen they wanted to translate themselves back to the angelic state they did not know that god had the power to stop them so in an attempt to translate themselves back they were stopped they are the ones who have become demons today are you getting me so they need material bodies to find expression this is the basis of 
traditionalists this is the basis of a lot of things that we celebrate in the rampant outbreak of the prophetic that we call word of knowledge you see it they search out i'm not saying everything is corrupt are you getting my point now but i'm telling you that many of these things otherwise how can a herbalist look at you how many of you have seen these guys that scam and swindle people in a car and sometimes they will give you an they will take you to one baba right and give you an accurate word of knowledge how did they know because they don't have the holy spirit so there must be some spiritual system hmm. they search out iniquities it is on the basis of this search that lucifer satan the accuser of the brethren are you getting me now based on these findings this is what he reports and he says god according to your justice this is what has happened that means there is a law that should follow this family are you getting my point and suddenly you find out women are not getting married people are not getting married things are not working nothing is working anybody comes to you for a relationship what will happen to him in two weeks nobody will tell him he will pack his load by himself and go and you are wondering what in the world is going on listen listen it is demonic many of us and our loved ones are victims of these things but they've told you hallelujah just believe it's not there again you say it's not there again you went back it's still there this thing is following you you see patterns i told you this thing satan wants transgenerational allegiance many students you are very brilliant like exam right now you go to the class and you find out that you black out in all sincerity other people think you are lazy you know you are not lazy there is a puzzle somewhere you are trying to understand now you come to the ministers and they tell you did you read yes they say all right i speak over you it is well and demons just mock the men of god and say look at how shallow and the student goes back and gets the same kind of tragedy but when there is light darkness must bow this is the reason why you are hearing testimonies of sudden admissions sudden this and that see brothers and sisters i taught you that every time you speak the realm of the spirit will check what revelation you are standing on are you seeing why some people's words are not powerful because when you speak the devil knows you don't even know what you are saying you are just carrying the delusion of faith and you're just saying i speak leave this family now based on what what is the spiritual intelligence that sponsors that statement when you have it there is light in your spirit and it is that light that will force that dimension of darkness that's why sometimes you can see as we are teaching the power of god just breaks out and demons are living or maybe during the miracle service these things are not magic it's a product of light are you getting my point as you're sitting under this teaching now a lot of things are suddenly coming in your mind are you getting me now it's now making sense to you why your father was walking although an elder in church he grew to a certain height and it fell and that's exactly what has been happening he went for deliverance and fell down he got up and the same thing has happened with that it has even gotten worse have you seen people who come and receive some miracles and go back and their families become worse it's a spiritual blackmail to discredit the ministry of the men of god so that they will say they got powers from darkness not everybody got power from that are you getting my point now you see how complicated the body of christ is at this point that's why we need accuracy please don't miss the meetings because there is a there is a construction there is a we want to go back to this foundation what is responsible for the darkness in our lives nothing just happens brothers and sisters as you're seated right now you know that this word you are hearing is the deliverance of your family this word you are hearing some of us who are parents here and are seated we know that this is the puzzle behind the things that are happening 
Hallelujah. But it will take light, brothers and sisters. It takes spiritual intelligence. During the Monday counseling, I was ministering to a lady. And as soon as she came and I casted out the spirit. And at once, the lady just lay down. And the Lord opened my eyes at once. And I saw the spirit in the realm of the spirit. It was laughing. And I said, the Lord rebuke you. The protocol were here. And the, the lady jacked back up. Somebody would have said, thank you, Jesus. And he just get up and say, ah, that's it. And the demons would say, Kai, men of God of these days, they are not powerful at all. Say after me, the light of God is upon me taking away every darkness and by the power of the Holy Spirit I become a, an agent of healing prosperity deliverance and grace to all around me and my family members hallelujah this is what is responsible for many things in our families this is why you find out that certain tribes and certain geographical places are prone to certain attitudes we say these things do not happen but we are seeing it there is a spirit upon the continent of africa that is responsible for what is happening hallelujah you see people come from certain places you see people come from plateau state you see people come from kaduna state from kogi state from lagos from the river and areas you see patterns that are happening yet we say oh it, there's there's nothing wrong i'm okay just declare that i'm okay and you say i'm okay and the demon say i'm fine too i'm fine with you i like this revelation you're having i'm fine with it but when light strikes see there are many of you based on this revelation you will start calling home and your parents will start telling you what is this dream that i'm having what is, you will see that there are shiftings know that is a response to what is happening it's already happening in some families right now you are seeing it you something you just know you can't explain but you know that certain foundations these demon spirits are saying who is this who is this this is le a level of light that is notable and they they begin to walk but you see light does not beg darkness authentic light comes and comes to conquer hallelujah this is the mystery behind this healing of hiv and all of these things you are seeing when you understand them no man of god will boast and brag in himself because in all sincerity when you know this it's just a proper application of spiritual intelligence hallelujah it's like clapping for yourself because you took your bath you say what i'm so impressed that i can bath what is special about that you can clap for a baby because you say this is amazing ha ah, you bath yourself the child will say yes yeah. say clap for yourself and he claps now imagine that Sam comes to see me and I just said I, I finished Bapi and Sam will say boy am I impressed a time will come what we celebrate as power will take another dimension what men of God have camped around it will be ordinary people who will be doing it because of the higher dimensions of grace are you getting me time for miracle service we'll just say you go and bring those who you healed, delivered, prayed for, and come. We testify together and receive greater grace. Do you know the training you are receiving now is such that it puts you to work immediately? And your Jerusalem is your family. Anyone who is not concerned about his family is, so, is a sign that something is wrong with you. Bishop, a pretty lady with nobody to marry her getting into the 40s nobody to marry her people say it's just like that the ratio of men to women is so on and so forth what is all that but when you sustain spiritual intelligence you can say light be and it will become hallelujah
Praise the Lord. Rise up on your feet. Let's pray. I want us to take some time. Please pray. As you pray tonight, certain things will begin to happen in your life. Please, everybody, participate in the prayer. As you pray tonight, something will begin to happen in your families. You will begin to feel the spiritual shift. The devil must give up on you this year and your family members. Hold hands together and begin to pray in tongues, please. Instrumentalists, help us. Hold hands together and just begin to pray in tongues. Please pray seriously. Prayer is a spiritual law. It has nothing to do with convenience. Zakata prakata labako so prakata baladaraba. You are not filled with the Holy Ghost. As we pray, let the power of God come upon you that you begin to utter those mysteries. Rekata kaprakata kalabakata prakata baladaba. Please pray. Rekete koto prakata balababa. Mabroso to presko sekete. Lekete koto baladaba. You will contend until victory comes. You will contend. Outside, make sure you are praying. 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 Arise, arise by light, by revelation. Arise, shake up darkness, shake up darkness. Pray and say, I'm changing. I'm changing. My status is changing. There's no more decline. I'm on my way to better days. To the life God designed for me. Hallelujah. The answer to the tragedy of my family is already unfolding. This age long puzzle is opening. Rekete kete koko to balada bakada bara. Nam rakata balada bash. Rekete kere boso prekete. Come on, pray in the spirit. Activate breakthroughs in the spirit. You are praying out of the depth of revelation. Rekete kete kete prakata balada balada bara. Nam prakata prekete kete. Rekata prakata balada bash. Rapoko so prekete. Rekete te bosha pariyama. Nam prekete le boko so prekete bosh. Please no looking at one another. Pray, pray, pray. Rekete bosh ko prakata balada bara. Your flesh may be weak, but pray is a sacrifice. Is a sacrifice. Is a sacrifice. Prayer is a sacrifice. It's not about convenience. It's about the higher revelation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. You are going to pray. Hallelujah. And you are going to say, Lord, I dispel darkness out of my life. Are you hearing me? You are going to say, Lord, by the light, whatever represents darkness in my life, it bows tonight. Lift your voice and pray. It could be sickness in your body. It could be a yoke of bondage. Satan is only as powerful as the darkness in us permits him. Pray. 
let light shine God who had commanded light to shine out of darkness had shined in our hearts to grant unto us the knowledge of the glory of God as seen on the face of Jesus let there be light let there be light let there be light let there be light, let there be light. prophesy light light to my family light prophesy light to your exams light to your academics the powers that be they must bow tonight by the force of revelation man shall not live by bread alone man shall live by every revelation revelation brings life it brings light it brings power pray babylon is falling that corrupt system that secrecy of evil that genetic code of wickedness that is responsible for the life that people are living the wickedness the pain cause that system that that one must fall by a road of a higher priesthood this is not the ironic priesthood our confidence is tied to a higher priesthood after the order of Melchizedek is a priesthood of glory is a priesthood of power hallelujah hallelujah we are still praying you are going to mention every area of your life one by one and you are going to say lord the chains they are broken tonight while we sing play that song break every chain many of you will be surprised at the testimonies you will have these are not testimonies that are happening by mistake you know how they are happening so you can reproduce it in the life of others lift your voice chains i prophesy be broken chains of delay chains of delay chains of barrenness chains of fear chains of failure let the glory of the Lord arise let the glory of the Lord arise chains chains of pornography chains of masturbation chains of wickedness chains of sickness chains of joblessness chains of failure chains of witchcraft break every chain by the power of the blood of Jesus break every chain we contend by revelation we storm the gates of hell we storm the gates of hell by the power of light we storm Babylon we prophesy your doom in our lives Babylon the great falling Babylon the great falling prayer points hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord please pair yourselves into two the Bible says if any two shall agree as touching anything you are going to pray for your families right now this year we must carry our family members along listen listen Pharaoh said I will let you go but leave the children and the animals Moses said no way we are going together i can't go and allow my sister who will save them you can't go and let your loved ones die like that are you getting my point that prophetic light will shine until every member of your family is part of this you are going to pray confront every darkness in your family you know the darkness lift your voice and pray the darkness of witchcraft 
and culture I contend come on pray there's no pretense in this place pray our family members have suffered this cycle of failure by the power of the Holy Ghost we confront you knowing that we have authority of evil. We expose the doers of iniquity. We expose the spirit of death, the spirit of failure, that invisible manifestation of darkness that is responsible for death, for barrenness, for miscarriages, for failure. Pray that limitation of poverty, confront poverty, that spirit, that yoke, that devilish device that has been projected to your family that is responsible for the financial tragedy. Confront it. It must bow to the power of light for the light shineth in the darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend prophesy a recovery prophesy a recovery I call back opportunities for my family I call back I call back their spiritual sovereignty I call back their finances I call back the joy Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Every act of witchcraft and divination, many of you will be surprised what will happen in this place now. Because I'm seeing it in the realm of the spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I command by the power of the Holy Spirit. The wicked spirits of darkness. That torment families. And individuals. And destinies. You will be exposed now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire is falling right now. The fire is falling right now across the congregation. Let the fire expose the works of darkness. Let the fire, everyone under any influence, the fire exposes darkness. The fire. These Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. Hallelujah. Come out of her now. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Come out of her. Foul devil of darkness. Go, go, I'm seeing you in the realm of the spirit. Out of her right now. Come out of her. You're a wicked spirit of darkness. Out. I'm seeing a snake. This is what I'm seeing. Come out right now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Go. This lady has been oppressed and her entire family come out right now in the name of Jesus you must go the light shines upon you go go now Thank <laughs> you. 
you have oppressed this girl for long now in the name of Jesus come out of her come out right now out of her come out of her right now out in the name of Jesus look at me turn and look at me come out of her now come out of her out in the name of Jesus Christ you are a wicked spirit of darkness go go you will go in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a snake lying down here I'm not even seeing a human being in the name of Jesus Christ let this girl go right now come out of her now out of her now devil of darkness lift your hands God is going to visit families hear me please hear me and some of you will represent your families are you hearing me right now the devil is a liar tonight are you hearing me the devil is a liar tonight the power of God will come upon families families right now whoever goes under the anointing you're not representing yourself but your family there are things that need to be settled at the count of three all over this building families be rescued one two three papa pateka karata sete kerekoba baba tata lata bakeria bring them out every family every family every enchantment every divination against any family be delivered in the name of Jesus Pata Tabalala Pata Barata Karatosa Rabariata Beketori Seke Mabrikato Ereka Likaba Rabariata Rekoto Seke Tekete Bekeposhia by the fire the fire of the Holy Ghost the fire of the Holy Ghost the fire of the Holy Ghost Apatakata Leka Prakataraka Rakata Prakataba Aprosko Soso Prekete It shall come to pass The burden shall be taken from thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed Go to Reke Reko Toso Seketia The power of God is still falling on families. I tell you, there are families being set free. This is what is responsible for the predicaments of many families. Tonight, there's no escape. The light and fiery presence. Mata Kabaya. Those of you outside, lift your hands. All of you outside, lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus, like a mighty rushing wind, let the power of God move outside. Move outside. Move outside. Move outside. Families be delivered. Families be set free. Move outside. Kata ta ta ta. Rakata baba. Raposoto. Reketeke. Raposkose. Rekoske niata. Mabata borokote. Raeke reketo. Raposke brondo. Kapriata kata shekete. Outside. The fire of God is falling. Son of man, can these bones live again? Son of man, can these families be revived again? Bring them in. Bring them in. Bring them in from outside. There are many of them from outside. 
coming under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Bring this lady. You leave our family right now. You are a demon of darkness. Come out right now. Out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go. Come out right now. You are a foul devil of darkness. Out. Out right now. Out right now. Come out. Come out, foul devil of darkness. I've seen you. I've seen you in the realm of the spirit. Come out now. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You're a demon of darkness. This is what is responsible for delay. Marriage, no marriage, no this and that. This is not the issue of man of God, pray for me. This is the issue of dethroning principalities over families. Come out. Listen, let me explain something to you. Listen, I've said it time and time again. You can be born again. Your salvation does not affect your family. It's a personal thing. Are you listening to me? These people in front are born again. They are tongue talking. They are not witches. This is the nonsense people carry around. This is about territory salvation these are the spirits responsible listen for delay delay in different things marriages there's a lady at the back this row the power of God is coming upon you right now fire upon her in the name of Jesus look up please look up Satan is very stubborn. He's not just going to pack his load and go when there are people who are servicing altars and covenants every year. Some of you, you're, you are born again. Bring the lady. Bring this lady. This is delay I'm seeing. Look at. This is delay. All kinds of delay in your whole family. Incisions were made in this lady's body. Have you not wondered, look up, there are certain issues that you go through in your life. You pray about it, you fast about it, the more you pray, the more you fast, nothing is changing. Why is it so? Hold on, hold on, no, let that lady not go. Look at my eyes. Please dress her, let's have a lady wrap something around her. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Try your best. Look at my eyes. Go. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus. See, listen, the Bible does not teach us to sit down talking about demons all day and all of that. But let me tell you something if you don't deal with the things that are putting themselves as strongholds in your life, 
and in your family you will be surprised that you can be born again and filled with the Holy Ghost see we like telling ourselves lies in church me I don't have time for that nonsense are you listening to me everybody just wears suits and then we just and the devil is oppressing people who is Zainab 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 please let's save time Zainab you are Zainab look at me the Lord is bringing deliverance to Zainab's family come out of her right now and her family out in the name of Jesus you will see a nice pretty lady like this then eventually things will not move on in her life bring this lady look at my eyes look at my eyes I'm speaking to the spirit not the person don't worry the spirit is hearing look at my eyes your reign in this family is over it's time for you to go now now go just let her be come lift this lady for me sweetheart your family needs a lot of ah, what is this one that I'm seeing you have an elder sister where is she is she married eh? she lost the guy it's not that she lost the guy because I'm seeing anyone that wants to ask you people out keeps dying this is what I'm saying look at me look at me sister what happened to the guy he was shot he was shot are you hearing what I'm saying now so now you see this lady and you are happy Satan come out now come out you wicked spirit out now now come out let our entire family go the problem is when you want to deliver a family that is not ready to give up things that are evil it takes the mercy of God this is the situation we have here now I see you you will leave this family go I'm seeing a man that is as tall as 20 feet go now ranta prosko zete balakatea Victory, Victoria, victory, victory. Is it victory or Victoria now? What's the name? Victoria, come. Look at me. The Lord brings salvation to your family tonight. You believe that? your hands on your stomach look at me look at me shout Jesus as loud as you can all right are you ready one to go Jesus. you're free in the name of Jesus I want to pray listen I want to pray for those with heart conditions. 
any kind of heart condition whatsoever lift your hands hole in the heart abnormal heart heart condition these two ladies come come tonight is your night you and you the lady lifting her hands and the lady close to her are you friends God is visiting two of you come and stand here sister it's the presence of God look at me look at me just look at my eyes two of you need deliverance before impartation come out of our family right now uh -uh. Hey. Bring this lady. look at look at this a lady suddenly comes by herself and now she cannot look at me again in the name of the Lord Jesus let her go let her go right now come out of her come out right now I've seen you in the spirit you are going on your mark get set go 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 heart 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 conditions where are they please come out quickly heart just dress this ones aside every one of you will be visited mightily by God tonight heart please come out quickly hold on there's the Lord is showing me someone you have like epileptic seizures who is that person you can fall down and convulse who is the person it started when you were young who is that person let me see your hands quickly I need to pray for that person epileptic seizures because this is very demonic epileptic seizures look at me how many of you believe you will be healed what's wrong with you yes heart problem come there is one of you you had a dream it was after that dream you started having this hard thing who is that you had a dream come Stand for God to set you free what's the problem give him what's the problem there is a day that I was sleeping in the dream I saw somebody the person don't shout hey then I'm not shut and I wait since then my heart it seems, it seems to me that the heart wants to and you know that I want to give up anytime this is not heart problem my brother this is the spirit of death are you listening to me this one is not hard you think it's heart problem put your hands there look at me just look at me out of him now in the name of Jesus be healed now in the name of Jesus I'm going to pray for you quickly as I pray for you just receive Go back, check yourself. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her! Come out! You're wicked. Come out! Out of her right now. Come out now. Wicked devil. Aha! I've seen you. Come out! Out of her right now. This one is not hard problem. Aha. You will leave her. Come out. Out of her right now. Out. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Up. 
Those of you who brought sick people, please will we'll start ministering shortly. But I want to pray for people who, please stand up everybody, stand up, stand up. Hallelujah. The Lord is specifically asking me to pray. I'm going to pray. You won't come out. God will bring you out by himself. Um, the Lord is showing me people who are oppressed in your sleep. In your sleep you are sleeping in the night there's severe oppression of the devil whether a man or a woman coming to sleep with you and all those kinds of demonic things the Lord is going to set you free from it lift your hands everyone it should go lift your hands father even as you have revealed this to me in the name of Jesus Please keep the hands as high as you can outside too. Hmm. The gates of evil over lives and over destinies. Oppression and manip manipulations of darkness even in dreams. My God, right now, let the power of the Holy Spirit sweep across this congregation and bring deliverance to those many people. In the name of Jesus, now lift your hands. Now! 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 I give a word of command in the realm of the spirit that oppression goes go 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 bring them out oppression from your dreams molestation in your dreams Lord, this one's in front. By the power of the Holy Ghost, be set free right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I bring you freedom. An end comes to this devilish oppression. You will go. You will go. Go. Go in the name of Jesus. You will go by the power of the Holy Ghost.
you will go. I'm seeing this lady being oppressed. A man is go, go by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out right now. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Out of her. She's free. Leave her. Be gone forever. Come out right now. Out. Come out of her right now. Out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. You are going in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out right now. Come out. Fire upon you. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You are a wicked spirit. Look at this. This is somebody that came happily and nicely. You see the things we are talking about. The Lord Jesus is against you. Fire upon you right now. Come out. Ma. Come out in the name. Look at her assuming the character of a man. This is a lady. This is a lady. Out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is the other lady that came? Now, be gone. Leave her. Leave her. She's free. are sick you are sick in your body whatever it is you are sick in your body it's time for us to minister to you and we are going to be prophesying and opening doors of restoration in families are you following me now so as the worship team ministers Mosaki will play the saxophone as the worship team ministers no 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 hold on she's not done sister look at me come out of her right now Hallelujah. So, if you brought a sick person, now is the time to bring them to the front. Very quickly. Very quickly. While the worship team gives us a song. Wherever you are, know that the power of God is there. Those outside, make sure you are full of expectation. Quickly, quickly, let's have the sick people. Please, ushers, direct them. Quickly, quickly, please. You are sick in your body. You came with a sick person. Especially those coming from outside Zaria. Come and line up quickly. Pastor Jakes, Bishop Sand. Quickly, quickly, please come and line up. Ushers, help me arrange them. Arrange them in lines, please. Some of you are outside. Rolling here. It's time for your healing. Healing Hallelujah. Pastor Jesus. Edge me. Now we're going to minister to you in the power of the Holy Spirit. Listen to me. As we begin to minister to you. In the power of the Holy Spirit. For some of you, it's demons that will need to go. Whatever the sickness is, just know it's going to go right now. Those of you who are standing, you can connect for your loved ones. Don't be distracted, please. Oftentimes, at moments like this, the devil will start distracting people. Now is the time to be sensitive. You can be where you are, and the Holy Ghost can be doing his thing with you. Hallelujah. As hands come upon you. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Sister, look at me. Just look at me. Salvation comes to you. We're going to begin to pray and minister to you. As hands are laid, worship him, help us. Hallelujah. As hands are laid upon you. 
expect a miracle whatever it is barrenness delay sickness what if it has a name it has a need tonight hallelujah worship team help us please those of you at the side please make sure that you just join us while we lay hands on you check yourself go back to your seat check yourself Whatever is wrong with you, you'll be here. you out with a loud shout you are going out go go now go 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 on your mark set go you're free thank you Jesus the demonstration of the authority of light over darkness Make sure you are praying. Harapo shalabandi. 
Whatever the sickness is, it will go. for you make sure you go back to your seat giving thanks and rejoicing it doesn't matter what is wrong fire right now come out come out of her come out Come out! Come out of her! Out, my devil! Come out of her! Fire upon you right now! Come out in the name of Jesus! Out of her! In the name of Jesus! Go! Your time is up! Over this family! Spirit of poverty! Go! Go right now! On your mark, set, go! Go! Go, go, go! Go, you must go! Be cast out right now! right now. Telling you the presence of God is mighty in this place. I'm seeing families, the curse of delay, marital delay. The Lord is showing me over families.
Manifest that he may destroy the works of the wicked. Someone has a problem with the left side of your ears. The left side of your ears. Who is that person? The left side of your ears. It's as if there's water. The left side of your ears. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. Who 
Put your hands there. Look at me. Just look at me. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says, and I will restore to you the years that the canker worm has eaten. The palmer worm. Please be sensitive. Everything we are doing here tonight is very prophetic. And I will restore to you. There are two families here that need major restoration. The Holy Spirit is going to bring them out. They will come out by themselves under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Two families. Wherever you are, I subject you to the influence of the Holy Spirit. Two families. You will come out by the power of the Spirit. Leave them alone. They will come out by themselves. There's one more family. By the, by the influence of the Spirit. Major restorations. One at that side again. One at this side again. What is an angel doing there? At the back. At the back. I'm seeing an angel moving at the back. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord moving at the back. They are all coming out by themselves. They are going to come out by themselves. This will be the sign that they are, that is the prayer point I'm talking about. Major restorations. Major restorations. Is the Holy Ghost that will pick you. A lady from the back will start running out by the power of the Holy Ghost. All of them, you will come out. Don't no, but don't hold her. She will run and come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. There's still one more lady at the back. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord there. There's still one more lady. The power of God will take you. This is a sign of restoration. Come out. Come out, come out, come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. Come out, take a tele caramos. Everyone that belongs to this category, the sign is that you will run by yourself. You will come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. It's a prophetic sign for speed. The Holy Ghost is bringing speed into your life. Let her family go. Come out. Come out. Come out. Our family must go free. The fire will burn you until you let this family go. These families, mark these families. They will experience major major breakthroughs in a matter of days from now days from now there are still some people at the back the holy ghost is visiting more and more people families for restoration families for restoration my lord major major restoration hallelujah hallelujah 8811252 8811252 you or someone in your house has that number this is part of the 11 numbers 8811252 come out 8811252 and then i'm seeing the last digits of your number again 774 a same number 774 774 is a Zane number is a Zane number 
These families must be free, oh Lord. You are the lady. You are the lady. 774. Say number. Do you know me? Do you know me? Come out of her right now. Out of her. Something mighty will start happening now. All of them will start laughing. This is a sign of victory. This is a sign of victory. This is a sign of victory. Laughter. All of them will begin to laugh. They will begin to laugh right now. The laughter is a sign of victory. I tell you, it's a prophetic sign. They can't control it. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing doors opening in the spirit for their families. Now, listen, some of you may sit there, you are wondering what is going on in this place right now. This is not Joshua Selman. This is the Holy Ghost. This is the Holy Ghost we teach about. Japheth, lift your hands. God is taking you to a new level of the prophetic. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. The Lord is visiting you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Worship team, hold your hands together. It's time for you all to enter a new season. Hold your hands together. I'm telling you, a mighty anointing is going to come upon the worship team. A mighty anointing. Hold your hands together. It will move from Yinka like a mighty wind. It will pass. Move right now. The power of the Holy Ghost. Look at I'm seeing an angel moving. It's like fire. It's moving in a mighty way. My God, let no man stand. Let it move in a powerful way. All across in the name of Jesus Christ. Ushers, all of you come out. Ushers. Ushers, quickly. All the ushers, come out, please. The Lord says to prophesy a new season for you. It will start from this sister, you. The power will start from you and move this side and move that side. Lord, let it be right now. It's not about falling down, but then it will come with power. Right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Take it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It comes like fire upon you. It's setting you for a new season in the spirit. Mark this lady. She'll begin to have a lot of prophetic dreams. It's five of you. The power of God is coming upon you. In a mighty way. Mighty way. All of you in this row, from this brother to that lady, please hold your hands. I don't know what it is. This, yes, just you. Lift it up, please. An angel of the Lord wants to walk from my sister with a baby right to my brother there lord let your power move right now across that place in the name of the lord jesus christ media just be seated don't stand up 
Be seated, but hold your hands together. I want to pray for you. At the count of three, I'm seeing a whirlwind. One, two, three. There is a lady. You had a dream yesterday. You saw me ministering to you. There are not many times these kinds of revelations happen. Who is that lady? You're a lady. You saw me ministering to you in a dream that you had. Please come out. There is a lady. Please, let's save time. We still have some other things to do. Baba Baba Sister, you are entering a mighty realm in the spirit. I want to open a gate right now. Efata, be open. An impartation is coming upon you. You will never be the same. David, the Lord is restoring your family in a mighty way. And even you, the Lord is bringing order to your life. There's a lot of chaos. Your life is scattered, very scattered. Let your life come back to order. Hallelujah. Ushers, collect the prayer requests. Please pass your prayer requests quickly. Gabriel, Gabriel, Gabriel. Help her. Patala Kaporadia. There's a mighty move of the spirit in this place. God is just visiting people. Make sure you don't. Those outside don't think you are not part of this. Ushers, ushers, look at me. Look at me. Liver, come out. Come by yourself. Come and stand here. Come and stand here. This lady is strongly influenced by spirits. Come and stand here. Just stand and wait for me here. Right here, stand and wait for me here. Gabriel, my brother, the Lord is bringing you to honor. 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 Mark this word. Go and write it. Huh? In exactly eight days from now, something major is going to happen in your life. Go and write it. Honor. Ushers, collect the prayer request quickly because we still need to prophesy and open up doors and activate the gift of the spirit this lady loves God but has been influenced by devils it's now time for God to anoint you and take you back to your family are you listening to me a prophetic fire will come upon you today that you will never recover from Lord
you will never be the same. Never be the same. Those on Facebook are online community. Quickly, quickly. Please ushers, gather them and then let's bring them. I'm seeing a family. Someone is on a stretcher. A woman. An elderly woman. Is it your mother or your auntie or something? On the bed. Looks like a stretcher. The Lord is saying I should announce to that person that they are getting up. You are the one? Come. Where's the mic? What happened? She has been sick. Eh? She has been sick. Who? My auntie. Your auntie. Where is she? She's in my hometown. She's in your hometown. Ah. Where's your mother? Your mother is at home too. Your mother is at home too. Is she fine? Yes. You need to pray for her because what is happening to your auntie is supposed to happen to her. Let's rebuke it. Do you believe me? Do I know you? Come. Lord Jesus, let there be perfection in this family. Let there be light. See, you know why I'm laughing? I was going to tell you what the Lord is showing me. I'm telling you, many of you, your family members are going to be surprised at the breakthroughs. Mark the month of May. Mark the month of May. Mark the month of May. Many of you don't know why I laugh. I laugh because of the things the Lord shows me. The sister jumping at the back, standing close to Shade's brother, run from where you are and come. I didn't say walk, I didn't say catwalk, run. You don't know why I'm asking you to run. Look at me. It's the season of speed for your family. Where's your father? Your father is late. You know why I asked where's your father? Do you know what killed him? Yes. What is it? He was poisoned. Your father was poisoned. Yes. And this is something that they want to do to another member in your family. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Debbie, God is visiting your family, but lay your hands at her back. Just lay your hands at her back. Just her back. The, the anointing is for you, not for her. Just lay your hands at her back. Father, visit her right now. Visit her in a mighty way. It's not you I'm not ministering to you. This is the person I'm ministering to. This. God is bringing financial restoration for your family, Debbie. You have suffered a great deal. Financial restoration. Now it's time for you to be ministered to. Restoration in the name of Jesus. How many of you believe what God is doing in this place tonight? As soon as we pray on this request to the ministers, many of you by now know that every time we agree on requests like this, miracles erupt many of you as we are praying your prayer points you will start receiving the answers right where you are hallelujah Sas, let me invite the servants of god please jake's cup to me whoever has this request we are not opening it but i'm seeing here marriage for your sister the lord says it won't pass this year this request i don't know who has it Marriage for your sister. I'm seeing a lady. Hold on, Kai. What is this? Before we pray, someone in your family has stomach started protruding. People even thought she was pregnant. It's not pregnancy. Who is the person? Come out. Ah, this is satanical. Who is the person? There's someone, somebody's stomach. In. No, 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 no. This, you, you are not. I'm seeing the lady like we are. Um, what they call it, this lady's hair. But this type that is, how do I describe it now? Help me, Holy Spirit. Where? Who is the person, please? Someone's stomach is a lady in your family. It's coming out. They're even thinking she's pregnant. You think she's not pregnant.
take my sister. Let's save time. Who is that? You or someone in your family? Someone in your family. You believe in Jesus? Very well. Look at me. Look at me. Very well. And you believe you help your family. Because, my dear, there is a lot of salvation that needs to happen in your family first. Hmm? A lot of salvation. You too. You were scared? Why? This is a family. Please, when you, when you hear a word, don't be scared. Hmm? Madam, why are you out for who? Eh? What is this? Lord, we bring perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands towards the prayer request, sirs. Honestly, I want you to believe. Stretch your hands. It doesn't matter how impossible the requests are. Just stretch your hands. Lord, in the name of Jesus, the Egyptians that we see today will not see them anymore forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Stretch your hands. Make sure you are praying. I hope this is all the request. Father, in the name of Jesus. Answers have been released. Answers have been released. I'm seeing answers like light being released from these requests. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Miracle marriages, oh God. Miracle jobs. Academic breakthroughs. Financial breakthroughs. Salvations of loved ones. Completion of projects. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for we know that the requests here are not beyond your power. Thank you, for we shall begin to celebrate the answers even from tonight in the name of Jesus none of the requests here your hand will not bypass them in the name of Jesus thank you for great miracles in families and in the lives of individuals in the mighty name of Jesus thank you Jesus in Jesus name we pray celebrate Jesus with you. Now just give me a few minutes and we'll be out. Somebody's story is about to change. Forever. Believe me. Mosax, come please. Let's do this. Just blow. Lift your hands everyone.
Matapokata. Lift your hands. Fire upon you right now. Everywhere in this building. An impartation. An impartation. An impartation. Let it come strong. From my left, my right, all across this building. Outside. Outside. New levels. New dimensions. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. You will run like Elijah. Let it hit you like a tornado. Let it hit you where you are. Let it hit you with power. Like a mighty rushing wind. Take it in the name of Jesus. 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 Hey, Kerry, da 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 da. So take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Raga da ba da 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 da. So Kerry, da 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 da. But so take it, take it, take it. You become unbeatable. You become untouchable. I put a mark upon you. I put a seal upon you. The seal of the blood, the seal of divine protection, the seal of greatness. I put a mark upon you. 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 The mark of the blood, the mark of protection, the mark of victory. Lift your hands. I command doors of supernatural favor. Hear me in the spirit. Be open unto God's people. Koinonia, receive favor. 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 I program your spirit. Take favor. Completed project in this place. I command let the Lord visit that project before the end of this year. Completion of houses, projects in the name of Jesus. Every delay in relationship or marriage, I cause it to its roots now in the name of Jesus. Every plague of barrenness, inside and outside, everything called barrenness in your life, I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command a restoration. Whatever you have lost, in the name of Jesus, a sevenfold restoration. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at me. I want to break the curse of poverty over families. I always do this. Everybody look at me. I want you to bring out a seed. You know that we don't, if you don't believe it, just keep your seed, please. Bring out a seed. Bring out something that will touch you. Just lift it up. Many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you tonight. 
inside and outside please share with somebody who doesn't have this is not about money this is about spiritual principles please bring out a seed lift it high above your head I praise God for the salvation of families. Lift it high, please, everyone. Please make sure you are holding something. Just lift it. Lift it high. Now watch what happens. There are spiritual and physical principles that bring wealth and prosperity. Hallelujah. For many people, you have done the physical ones. But certain spiritual forces of darkness are keeping the blessings of families just lift it up many of you will be surprised just hold it because that will be your uh, just lift it just lift it now the power of god every family suffering under financial curse just lift it you'll be surprised right now lift the seed to heaven my god like the sacrifice of abel visit it now in the name of jesus Rakatalata Bokaya. Poverty be gone. I cause failure and poverty. I tell you, doors of finances are opening in the name of Jesus. Let your seed speak in the realm of the spirit. My God, let it be a symbol. It took a sacrifice. To bring poverty let this sacrifice end it in the name of Jesus it took partnership with the realm of the spirit for the cause of poverty to come in families by our partnership with the Holy Spirit we introduce a new era of undeniable inexplainable financial blessings just lift it. Just give me 10 seconds. God is going to visit people right now. All across. Financially, 10 seconds. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Do it, my God. Let your people know that you alone are God and that besides you there is no man. Lift up the seed now. I declare supernatural increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for your seed. Let it go around this universe. Gather its kind and return back to you i command it go around the universe gather anything that looks like what you are holding return it back to you i instruct it go around all earth hear ye the word of the lord job says as for the earth out of it comes bread cast your seed gloriously ushers locate them as they drop it Please do that quickly. Let's round up. I'm telling you, God is going to surprise many of you from this meeting. Believe me. Believe me. God is not a, a man that you should lie. Many of you right now, as the, as the power of God is touching you, your family members at home, God is visiting them. Hallelujah. 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 Look up. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I declare to you that in this next month of May, if your ears can hear my voice, I pray 
my God and my King, let it be a season of honor beyond your imagination. I prophesy as one sent from God. If I be of God, I pray that this next month, my God, let there be testimonies of honor. It's a season of supernatural exploits. I prophesy supernatural honor. I provoke it from the realm of the spirit. There's someone, your dad is a banker. He was taken away from the bank because of a case. Next month, before now I'm 14th, he will be reinstated again. Hallelujah. Now look at me. If you are here, listen, everybody keep standing. And you've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Or you've once given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing. Now is the time to make a genuine commitment. The Bible says, as many as will come, he will in no wise cast away. We're going to give you an opportunity now inside and outside. You probably were invited by someone or you've been here and you've seen what the Lord has done. You've seen the wonders of God. And the Lord is giving you an opportunity for a fresh start. As I count one to five, please inside and outside as a family of faith, i like us to celebrate such people. Leave your seat and run out right now. Everyone, one. Leave your seat and come. You are welcome. Thank you, sister. Thank you, my brother. Outside, we're inviting you. Come and make Jesus Lord of your life. Appreciate them, Koinonia. God bless you. 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 Don't sit back. There are still some more people outside. There are still some more people outside. There are still some more people outside. My sister, I see you. God bless you. I see you. God bless you. Appreciate them, please. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Now, look at me. I salute you for making this bold decision. Hallelujah. The Bible says, as many who will come, he will in no wise cast away. This is the beginning of a real journey for you. Are you listening to me? Lift your hands, all of you in front. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Please say it from your heart. Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. I'm unable to help myself. I repent of my sins. I believe you died for me. You rose again for my justification. Today, I confess you as Lord. I receive your sacrifice and your love. I declare that I'm born again. I receive eternal life in my spirit. In the name of Jesus. Satan, you have no place in my life. I am free from every ordinance of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I am free from every ordinance of darkness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Look at me. Thank you. This is the best decision you have ever made in your life to make Jesus Lord of your life. Now, the ushers will lead you. You will follow them in one minute. And then Pastor Jakes will be meeting with you tomorrow. There will be a follow-up for you. What time, sir? What time? Seven. Seven tomorrow. Please come into chapel. You meet with Pastor Jakes and he'll follow you up. God bless you. Celebrate them, everyone. Hallelujah. If this is your first time worshiping with us in our April Miracle Service, jump like a champion you know you are and run out quickly. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Come on, come out quickly. We want to bless and prophesy over your life. Wow, wow. I tell you, run like a champion. I like these guys. Look at them. Koinoni, are you celebrating Jesus for what he's doing?
Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia. How many of you were blessed tonight? You will never be the same. I assure you, you will never, never be the same. You will know that you met the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for coming. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain